there are many instances where when you are trying to um, basically prove the elements of the crime, it will not because that you cannot see a direct gain to that person. All right. And now that is where some of the new uh, labeling or nomenclature where we're talking about politically exposed persons is supposed to address because all of the things, and that's where people seem to be able to identify corruption, that somebody has taken a resource and given it to somebody in order to get, that is what they consider as corruption. They don't see nepotism <laughs> as corruption or favoritism as corruption or even conflict of interest that leads to corruption. So, and that could be a reflection of our own cultural, you know, the blurring of those uh, cultural values or societal norms. We need to be able to draw the line. Where does, where does you know, gift, be, gift giving becomes corruption and, you know, just being uh, nice or polite in a Ghanaian sense? You see, if I decide to buy you a house, I'm a contractor, I'm, I'm getting a, a government money, a government contract, and as appreciation for <laughs> the government contract, I give you a house. Is that a gift? Uh, did, did that, does that, you know, is it consistent with our culture? No. They obviously when you say, to be, I give you a house, you're referring to the public officer. The public officer. Who has an influence in awarding, uh, awarding the, the contract. contract. Should we be saying that that's a gift? There obviously can be lines that we draw in these kinds of things. Because sometimes some hampers are so expensive. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're very, very expensive. So the, the, I think we need to look at these things, look at our own Ghanaian situation, and trying to tailor our laws to address these kinds of problems.